All right, everybody, how y'all doing tonight? Yes, I am come back with you with that video. I was on my little one of my sources video cards dot com. I'm going to go into that. That's an old silky Nvidia for the solve the GPU issue. Yes, as you heard, Nvidia say they are, they're going to solve the GPU issue. In the video answers to the GPU shortage, the GeForce GT 1010. Yeah, as y'all see my face, I, I I am basically flabbergasted that NVIDIA will bring back a low display card. <sighs> I, I, I'm just lost for words right here because um, NVIDIA marketing team as well as their production team needs to be slapped in the fucking face for coming out with this nonsense. Yes, I said the F word. Oh well. And I mean it a hundred damn percent. This is this 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 here right here is an insult to the consumers who's trying to get that latest gear. Yes, we want the G Force RTX 3080 tie. We don't want no GeForce GT 1010 basic display graphic card. This is what I used to be on for display graphic. With this here, uh, GeForce 210. And you could game on it, but you trust me, the games they got for it, you don't want to play. I basically use this card just for basically for basic computing. Just to go ahead and get my monitor turned on. Okay. To watch Hulu, listen to Spotify, Netflix, Sling. It played my 1080p movies perfectly. You know, I, I guess the GeForce GT 1010 is the same card as the GeForce 210. What separates them two is that the GeForce GT 1010 is replacing its ancient GT 710 SKU. The GT 710 is based on the Kepra GK208 GPU. The card was originated, originally released in January. 2016. Okay, we are in 2021. That is five years old. Okay, the graphic card had appeared on the driver download page. There were no announcements, no blog posts announcing the new SKU. YouTube adapts act the NVIDIA customer support if they could share more information on the new SKU, but sadly that were unable to do so. It appears that the card was only quietly announced but not yet released because it is what it is. It is a basic simple display GPU card only to be used for simple computing. Notice I said the keyword simple not gaming Simple. So you so here you got your DVI and your display. So you got it support. I hope it supports dual um dual monitors. But here all your power is coming off your PCIe on port, which should be about seventy five to eighty watts. Come on, really? I mean, I, I, I'm going to show you the, uh, G, the GeForce 210. Yes, I, I, I still have this card, you know. And, and, and it, I, it, it was the MSI, as, as you know. I used to support MSI back then to find out what they did. But um, it is what it is. Now, as you see, it's the same. Same. And here you have DVI 
HDMI VGA. DVI HDMI VGA port. Okay. But don't it look similar? It's just that MSI decided to go ahead and give it a nice little fancy heat sink design. But other than that, it is what it is. Now, uh, and I hope that to all uh, to all my creators out there who likes to go ahead on and test stuff out, please don't test this card out. I ho I hope I don't see Thompson. Oh, we just got the GeForce G ten ten. Can you game on it? If you try to game off this card, you're just making a damn fool out yourself, as well as your channels. And if I see it as a viewer, I'm gonna be laughing at you because you're making a fool out yourself. Why would you game on a display GPU? That's it. I don't know. This card could go ahead and push 1080p. It might could go ahead and push 1080i. Oh hell, I know definitely with the display uh, GPU card, it will give you 720p, the basic. That's it. Now, if one of my subscribers say, Ron, would you recommend me to game up the GT 1010? I would say, hells no. I would tell you to go ahead and use onboard graphics if you have an um, Intel 10th generation like the um 10 the um i5 10400 with the hd 630 the hd 630 is higher than that and it has um 1.4 uh hdmi which is which is just 2k you can go ahead and go at 2k with your 1440 easy <sighs> nvidia i mean y'all can do better than this this this, this is embarrassing and it said, according to Tech Power Up sources, the graphic card features 256 CUDA cores and 2 gigabyte of GDDR5 memory. The site claims that the card will have a base clock of 1, 1228 megahertz, and a boost clock of 1468 megahertz. Yes, this is about 720 to 1080i and about dual channels. That is about basically it. Uh, and and Nvidia, please don't go bringing no more cards from the graveyard. We don't need no more GPUs coming out from the graveyard. Oh well, we gonna go ahead on there and redefine an old card that was done back in the late '80s or the early '90s. Don't do that. Only thing Nvidia we want from y'all is to go ahead on there and bring out more lines of your RTX 30 series. You got the RTX 3060 12 gigabyte coming up by the end of February. Make sure you have enough stock. That's it. Relaunching. I glad y'all relaunched the RTX 2060. The 6 gigabyte. It will give you a nice, good, strong uh, 1080p and max and ultra settings. Uh, I don't know about the uh, 1440p, but I'm going to do some resources on that. But other than that, I, I, I'm just lost for words right now. I'm so flabbergasted. It, it, it's just a total shame that um y'all want to bring something in the past because because y'all see it jump up. Yes, if you look at if you go here when you go to to the Nvidia driver download, you'll see a whole lot of unnamed cards that no one ever heard of. Okay, but this doesn't mean you say oh let's bring it back. Leave them there. Yeah, y'all yeah. pulled it off for a reason. Y'all put it on the production line for a reason when y'all created it. Because clearly, y'all knew the car was goddamn straight as garbage. Yes, straight, simple, pure, funky ass garbage. So, why bring something that is about five years old? It's Right now, <laughs> if, if anybody trying to go ahead and play, and I'm going to come clean with you, Outriders will be coming out as well as Resident Evil. If I see anybody gaming on this goddamn car, please take your system and throw it in the canal because you don't appreciate 
a good decent CPU or PC. Let me correct you don't appreciate a good decent PC at all that you built, you created to enjoy what you do. If you just want to rush out to us, oh, I need a new graphic card. Oh, hell, I need a new graphic card right now. And in my editing rig, my Ryzen 5 3600, I'm on the, um, the RX 550. That's a 2 gigabyte card. You could do light gaming with that. You could play some games and get about 60 to 70 frames per second, but I won't tell you to push nothing heavy on it. The reason why I chose that car because when I was trying to get the RTX 2060 Super sold out. Or they was being scalped by the third party vendors on Amazon and New Age, which I find those scalpers, those, those third party vendors are, are, are straight assholes because here it is. I'm looking at the 1080 and TI 11 gigabyte card. Yep, right there. And y'all selling them things for a twelve what what twelve ninety nine to to thirteen hundred? Come on! And the funny thing about it, oh the car is pre owned, oh the car been used. If you see that, but y'all trying to go ahead and get top dollars for them, please. So Nvidia, and and and, and I'm coming out y'all with good knowledge and good common sense. To the production team and the marketing team, stop giving us bullshit. Okay, work on what y'all so promised to give us was the 30 series. Okay, that's all I have to say. If I, if I had to come on video calls, y'all come when I see some dumb shit like this again. Oh, we're releasing the the G the the. The the G4 GTX 560. We bringing that back from the past. You bringing it back a one gigabyte card that y'all created way back in, in the early 2000s. Are you are you kidding me right now? I have the the um, G4 GTX 560 and it's on my um my bedroom TV because I watch my movies and my Netflix and Hulu because I am getting tired of the fire state. It, it 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 streams badly and I have a Wi Fi booster so it should be no issues on why I'm I am i am dropping dropping um signals. Now and by the way my GTX uh five sixty uh, performs this car anytime, any day, and that's a one gigabyte card of uh, 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 GDDR5. Come on! And here, one thing I love about that card, I'm on the um, 550 watt power supply. The car generates about 450 to 500 watts of pure natural power recommended. This has no power, so. Why would I buy a low powered display card? I mean, for that, I could just use my own board graphics. My own board graphics, um, HD 7, 7 was 7850 on my um, 810 5800K APU. I performed this nonsense. So please, NVIDIA, stop it. I could go just like I said. I could go ahead and get the um the um i nine ten nine hundred with the uh, APU of HD six thirty outperforms this car. Come on, Nvidia, seriously. The only way y'all can fix the GPU shortage is by hiring back your workers instead of. Deteriorating your staff due to the COVID nineteen. How you about at least twenty percent? Then you won't have no damn issues with the product line and the units being signed out to the stores. <sighs> Thank y'all for watching. Subscribe. I have no more to say. Peace.